Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from group three of Introduction to Language Science. And today we are going to talk about a uh, material that uh, consists of the first one is language characteristics, grammar, language, origin, and human communication, communication system, language and thought, description of the language processing system, and the last one is summary. And the first one is going to be delivered by me and Antonio. The first one is language characteristics. This text outlines six central design features of human language, semanticity, arbitrariness, discreteness, displacement, duality of patterning, and gener generativity. Semantic refers to the ability of language to convey meaning through specific signals, such as words or, or phrases. Arbitrariness is the concept that words used to describe objects or events need not resemble to the object or even in any way. And the third is discre discreteness, refers to the organization in language components into distinct categories. Displacement refers to the language ability to convey information about the events that are spatially or temporarily removed from the speaker. And the duality of patterning means that language stimuli can be perceived in different ways, such as, as a collection of phenomena or as a set of words. And the last one is generativity. The capacity of human language to create an infinite number of unique messages from a fixed set of symbols of elements. That's all from me, Antonio. And the next one is going to be delivered by Ajing Ezatuljana. Ajing, time is yours. Okay, now I will explain about grammar, language origin, and non-human communication system. According to the continuity hypothesis, human language abilities are closely related to pre-existing communicative abilities and represent a relatively modest object from those abilities. And the next is research on communication abilities in apps. Studies of how animals communicate can help test ideas related to the continuity hypothesis. Apps and monkeys provide useful comparisons to human because some apps, such as chimpanzees, are closely related biologically to humans. And the next is language origin. The way of studying, studying, of, uh, st studying the origins of language involves comparing modern humans to our evolu evolutionary ancestors. Such studies have compared living humans and living apps, which revolve around the concepts of continuity and discontinuity. Okay, maybe that's all from me. Uh, for the next material will be explained by Salina Sulfati Yurma. Okay, thank, thank you, Arjun. And Salina Sulfati Yurma, time is yours for the next material, language and thought. Okay, thank you. So now I'd like to explain about language and talk. So since Watson's time, quantity of evidence has accumulated to show that thinking and language are separate, talk link abilities. So John saw that you don't need language in order to think, where thinking is divided as the ability to reason, plan, make decisions, and respond appropriately to complex environmental stimuli. So, so, to summarize the language and talk, research on the relationship between language and talk shows that the way your language works doesn't change the way you perceive in the world that said. So, it does not give you superhuman perceptual abilities that other people cannot have unless they speak your language, but it may, may make some cognitive uh, tasks easier. So, I think that's all for me. I give it back to moderator. Okay, thank you. Silva, Samuel Sipatrima for the explanation. And the next material is description of the language processing system will be delivered by Panya Agamaitari. Panya, time is yours. Okay, thank you, moderator. So I will explain about description of the language processing system. So most of our language input comes during dialogue, which is when we are engaged in language processing. Production and comprehension are separate components of a language system. The, comp the comprehension system starts with speech sound and maps them to concept or meanings. Fodor proposed that language has a mental module, which he defined as a mental ability that is domain-specific, genetically determined with a distinct neural structure and computationally autonomous. This treatment of language follows from the model modularity tradition. That's all for me. I give it back to moderator. 
Okay, thank you, Fania, for the explanation. And the last one is summary is going to be delivered by Nurul Anissa Yuliana. Nurul, time is yours. Thank you, Yan. The last is summary. MNTCT refers to the ability of language to convey meaning through curtain signal, such a word or phrase. The main purpose of language it is expression of thoughts, and the language we use can also affect the way we think and see the world. Language doesn't give you superhuman perceptual abilities that other people can only they speak. Okay, that's all for me. I give back to the moderator. Okay, thank you for all the group members for participate, participating on this uh, presentation. I think that's all from our group. Thank you. And assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.